Back for another high tide and vibe, and of course all the trucks are going by now, and I expect a fucking airplane anytime soon, or a really loud fucking piece of shit Sea King helicopter, or some bullshit. Screaming children. Maybe a ghost. Because it is October, after all. Uh, another beer I brought back from vacation in New Brunswick. This is from Big Axe Brewery. This is a Night Train Pale Ale. Uh, it's got a race car on it, so I assume it involves the sports ball somehow. Craft beer that kicks axe. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Where are these fuckers out of? Home of the world's tallest axe. BigAxe.ca. And they're from... Otis Drive, Nakawick, New Brunswick. And it says on here, this is inspired by Brian Gillespie's seven championship titles. The crew, the sponsors, the fast cars. So yeah, it's sports ball, I guess. Um, I don't know who Brian Gillespie is. So 4.5%. And this is just a pale ale, I guess. Just a, it's just a fucking North American pale ale, I guess. What they're going for here. Refreshingly low alcohol for a North American pale ale. I'll say that. So here we got poured. It's got kind of a milkshakey head. And it's a brilliant orange. And I can see particulates in the bottom there. But it's got that really nice... It even looks kind of better on camera in a way. It's kind of got like a tequila sunset kind of thing going on, almost. Very, very pretty beer. Uh, we're just going to get into the aroma and taste here. Let's do it. Why waste your time? Why waste my time? Our time is finite in this mortal coil that we exist in. Hmm. Kind of um, a sweet citrus note there. Do they list ingredients or anything on this? They don't do that, do they? No, they do not. Well, uh, I can see it was canned in September. That's about it, September 20th, but uh, they don't list anything on it. Hmm. Kind of a perfumey citrus aroma. Kind of almost orange, but yeah, I don't know. Flowery, perfum perfumey citrus sort of mishmash there. It smells very pleasant. Uh, assuming a very hop forward beer here, pretty much. So I'm getting a little bit of malt, but uh, it seems to be mostly about the hops there. So we're going to go right to the taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Nice light body. 4.5%. Very drinkable. It's got some nondescript citrus things going on. Again, kind of a flowery, perfumey kind of presence in the taste as well. Um, hmm. Maybe orange kind of evolving into grapefruit kind of thing. Starts a kind of citrusy orange in a very light way. And then it's got kind of a grapefruity bitterness at the end. A nice lingering bitterness. Refreshing. Makes you want to drink more. And at 4.5%, it's sessionable. This is really good. This is really fucking good. Nice, like, warm weather, thirst quencher. Or, you know, just any every time you want to qu qu quench your thirst. Well, there's a fucking 40 below it. Mm. That's really good. It's simple. There's not a lot going on. It's North American Pale Ale doesn't have to have a lot going on. I prefer it when my beers don't have a shit ton of stuff going on. That I gotta write copious notes about. So, it's pretty good. Pale Ale style, I'm gonna give it about a... I'd say about a... Eight. I've had better. I've had way worse. And um, my own personal preference, I'm going to throw yeah, throw a bonade at it as well. Double eights on that fucker. Uh, very pleasant drink. 
very easy to drink. Um, nothing pretentious about it or anything like that. Just very solid, above average, good stuff from Big Axe. And I think this is the first time I've had anything from these guys. I can't remember. I made the dumb move the other day of um, thinking you know, I had... I was reviewing some Grim Ross I brought from New Brunswick, and I did a whole presentation of how, oh, I've never had anything from these guys before, let's look at their website. And then I looked back in my archive, and I had done, like, a Grim Ross beer before that, and had done the exact same thing, where, legit, I had never had anything from them before, and went through their website. So, yeah, I'm getting senile in my old age. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back again. Bye-bye.